Hi, I'm Wilson Curry. Welcome to Antiques Country. And today I'm standing on this overlook high above Blue Mountain Lake here in the beautiful Adirondack Mountains in northern New York. And every year late in September, these mountains play host to one of the most unique antique shows in the country, featuring rustic old lodge furniture, vintage canoes, pack baskets, moose heads, and more in the Adirondack style. Now the show officially opens tomorrow, but we've come in ahead of time so we can share all the behind the scene activities with you. Uh, I don't think there's anybody that's viewing the show that doesn't have a place in their breakfast nook for something like this. Your basic moose. L.L. Bean Woodman cap. This is a vintage one, it's only $75. Let's tell it like it is, Tom Cruise wouldn't even look good in one of these. This is an old hickory uh, porch glider. Uh -huh. And I don't know, Ralph, did you buy this here today? I did not buy this. I got this out of a house call in uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And uh, should we order some cocktails? You know, <laughs> I'll maybe tell some you. pieces or something. This is Ralph. Have you ever had one of these before? Not in this condition. This is really good. It's very rare. It's very full size. And it's totally. made about 1932, something like that, by the Old Hickory Furniture Company in Shelbyville, Indiana. And originally they were in Martinsville, Indiana. This is it's mint condition and it's gorgeous. Well, Old Hickory. That really is Old Hickory is one of the most important categories of rustic furniture. It's really, true. isn't it? It's true. They, uh, the Old Hickory Company, was one of ten companies manufacturing hickory furniture in Indiana, starting at the turn of the century. They were in business for 65 years and they made about 2,000 pieces a week. Stuff was shipped to every last state in the country. They were the most influential of all the rustic furniture people around. And as you look through here, you'll see hundreds of pieces of antique hickory furniture here. Well, I've looked through and I've seen extraordinary pieces of old hickory, this certainly being one of them. And you know, Ralph, I think back because you know, uh, over the years I've seen you at Brimfield, which is a great market in uh, mm -hmm. Massachusetts, and I think back uh, probably 15, 16 years ago where I actually bought old hickory pieces from you that's for right. as low as $45, $55, $75. Oh, right, yeah. dollars. Those pieces today are in the hundreds of dollars, aren't they? Uh, four years ago, I would have paid maybe a thousand dollars for this. For this, what we're sold, sitting on? Yeah, I would have paid that for it, and I would have sold for twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. No. I sold this. I sold this two hours ago for eighty-five hundred dollars. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I could have sold it ten times over. I've had more people come in and say, "Gee, you know." Can I have this? I'm sorry, it's sold. There's only one of these here. This explains part of the reason why Ralph is smiling so much here at the show today. And you couldn't find a more perfect example of old hickory, as we said earlier. This is a porch glider. Ralph bought it and no doubt begrudgingly sold it. However, it did sell for $8,500. Ralph Kylo, we sure do thank you. Thank you very much. Does anybody know how much this doggone basket is? I want this. Sort of. Has a good look. Why, why 105? Why not just like a hundred bucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 10, 105, the guy says, yeah. Apple gathering basket, this is kind of nice too. That's a one peck apple basket. One peck, what you're just saying there, young man. Okay, so this is a one peck basket. It's kind of nice. Come on, let's talk cash. Give me a deal. Come on. Dollars even then. Oh, man, five bucks off. $80 US, I'm taking it right now. You paid for this, didn't you? That's why he won't give me a deal. <laughs> 95? He's a true gentleman. I need something to carry my stuff in. Sold. I'll do it. Thank you. It's a great basket. Do you accept cash? Yes. That's too bad.